guys welcome back to my channel my name is Karina and today we're gonna be doing a weekend vlog I have a lot of like fun little things I'll be doing this weekend and I just want to bring you guys along we are going to Alpharetta Phil's gonna get his hair cut and I'm gonna get my nails done I haven't gotten my nails done in so long and Alpharetta is like a cute little town on the outskirts of Atlanta where we're living currently in the city but we love Alpharetta and it's like my dream place to go live. Like I'm not really a city girl, but I love like cool suburbs kind of vibes. And it is so cute, it's so quaint. So we're gonna go there and have some fun um, and get, well, Till's gonna get his haircut. I'm gonna get my nails done. I just wanna show you guys my outfit really quick. I'm wearing this really cute cashmere sweater. It is cold now and i feel like it's colder than it usually is in georgia at this time of year but i kind of love it i love winter clothes ever since i came back from germany i've become a fan so um yeah i'm just wearing the cashmere sweater and just the plain black one and then here i'm wearing just leggings and chunky shoes because i'm i need to head out like pretty soon um, for the appointment. I also want to show you guys a new jacket that I got. Um, I was lucky enough to work with the jacket maker. They make amazing high quality genuine leather jackets, full grain, stunning pieces. I want to show you guys what came with my jacket before I show you the jacket. So first it came with a little note. Very cute. It came with a leather journal. This is so cute to jot my YouTube ideas down. I always have like a journal in my um, in my purse and this one's so cute and it's made out of real leather. So I think that's super neat. They also gave me a car refreshener, which I'm gonna put up in my car today. I keep forgetting to bring this in my car. And then they also um, gave you like a jacket cover to protect your jacket, um, which I think is super nice. and. These leather jackets are definitely more affordable compared to your like extreme brand name ones. Um, and they're also very good with the sizing. There's extra small to 4XL, so a lot of options there. And also you can even get made to wear um, basically like a custom fit, which I think is so amazing. So you can get something perfectly made for you. But enough talking about that, I wanna show you guys the jacket. Okay, so I got a men's jacket. I want it to be loose fitting so I can wear with almost anything and I love like the fit of it. It is so cute. It's this like kind of like a bomber style. It has um, little buckles here where if it gets really cold, you can close up the neckline. You can zip it all the way up. It's a full zip. It has pockets. Um, and this is full grain leather just so you guys can see the quality it is so so pretty and it has like faux fur on the inside to keep you nice and cozy and it's so cute i've been looking for a jacket for a long time like this um and i found the one so yeah i have a code for you guys it is karina lammer it's 10 for 10% off and I will put it somewhere in the video for you guys to see. And um, I mean, so cute. It's giving me such like city girl vibes. And I love the oversized fit. I think that's super trendy for this year, for girls especially. They do have really amazing pieces for women. I had a really hard time choosing because they have such cute stuff. Um, I personally wanted I was it was in between this really cute leather trench coat or this jacket i decided to go with this one it's giving it's giving i'm the boss kind of vibes um but the trench coat that i was taking a look at amazing i will be linking this jacket down below in the description box on top of the discount code that you guys can use if you're interested and amazing i'll also get more into detail when i I'm on the way to Alfreda because I really need to head out um, on the jacket details 
they pay so much attention to craftsmanship and quality i just want to share a little bit more about what they put in their like how they create their coats and their jackets so stick around for that and then i'm going to show you guys my nails and till's haircut i'll show you that um because he's been growing out his hair crazy and yeah i think this i love this jacket honestly i'm not getting paid to do this review i just want to let you guys know that is just that i want to share really nice products and when i get sent something really nice i obviously want to share it and i always tell my audience like if i don't like something i'll typically not share it at all or just send it back um but obviously with something so nice and so beautiful it had to be shared and i got a discount code for you guys so just remember that um we're in the car i had to head out because we were running a little late um until it's here driving and i just wanted to give you guys some facts about the jacket i mean look how good it looks i mean i just love when things look so expensive so um this one certainly does and i think for like comparable to other leather goods it's a pretty decent price um pretty affordable so um yeah their jackets are full grain leather that's like the highest quality leather you can get and they're constructed from sheepskin so specifically sheepskin leather um and they boast like a sleek semi and line leather finish this is specifically for the <clears throat> excuse me bomber jacket that i got <clears throat> Um, and also some key design elements. I'm just, I just wrote down some notes here. Are um, the full zip, uh, the buckle, which I really love. So when it's like actually like super, super chilly and you want to cover your neck, you can do that. Um, there's also waist adjustment straps to ensure a tailored fit. And obviously, since this is a men's jacket, it's going to not fit me like at the waist the way usually a woman's jacket does again i looked at the women's stuff and they had some really great things and i was really like not sure what i wanted exactly um but they had a really cute trench coat but their women's stuff is perfectly ta tailored towards women I just was looking for a very oversized uh, look just because that's what's trendy right now and personally I enjoy like my outerwear to be a little bit more oversized and, and so I can wear sweaters underneath and things like that. And that way I can borrow the jacket. <laughs> yeah, and Till, could t yeah, Till can wear my jacket, the same jacket. Um, we, I like to share his clothes, like I don't know, it's yeah. like right now the trend really like women can share their boyfriend's or husband's clothes and it still looks really cute so yeah lucky yeah. me that means you go shopping and you actually buy stuff that i can wear too so exactly how oh, lucky yeah <laughs> the light is like giving me like a weird gleam right now it's like too bright um i'm sorry i'm gonna shift the sun a little bit today. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's my camera is dirty Okay, well, sorry for the crazy bright gleams. It's like super sunny out, but it's cold. It's like chilly. It's cold to me. Okay, I'm a Georgia girl, and I was telling them that it's cold. In like Germany, we would consider the summer. Yeah. Well, that's summer why. Summertime, so you're ready for the lake. That's why we moved. Isn't yeah. that why? I could not do like German I guess weather that's all the part time. Of the reason, yeah. And it's primarily sunny here for the most part. There's not that many rain, uh, cloudy days. So I just can't do clouds. Like I need to see the sunshine. So love Georgia for that. Okay, so um, how I would style the jacket is like this. I'd either do like a full black outfit, wear something tight. If you're a woman, wear tight jeans underneath because you want to, how should I say? Um, the contrast. Yeah, you want to have contrast. Yeah. You, If you're wearing something oversized, you need to wear something tight at the bottom so i'm wearing black leggings right now you just want it to like match you otherwise know, you, you legit look like a man <laughs> yeah or you look like a potato in yeah. a sack you know yeah. so it's just like <laughs> you want to even it out so whenever i wear something oversized on my bottoms i'll wear something really tight up top so and vice versa you just want to make sure the styling is on point um and then 
I would also wear either white with this jacket, white for a very like sleek black and white look. So just go very sleek with it. Um, and then obviously like black boots or uh, whatever you have, but that's, that's how I would style it. And um, you can also do jeans. I think like cute skinny jeans or something would be nice yeah. with sneakers if you want to do it like more casual and not so like sleek and you want to make it more casual. I would personally do like a turtleneck like I'm wearing right now with jeans and like white sneakers or something um, personally for me. So yeah, that's that's all that I had to say about the jacket from the jacket maker. I'm really happy with it. Again, I have a discount code for you guys. It is Karina Lamerts 10 for a discount code just for you guys. I believe it's 10% off and go check out their website. Everything is linked in the description box. I, they have so many options, so many cute things. So go check them out. Okay, and the next clip you guys are gonna see of us is Chill's gonna have a new haircut, so maybe he'll be. Happy. That's why I'm not on camera right now. <laughs> He's feeling like he doesn't want to show his hair right now. It's very overgrown. He just didn't style it. But I think he looks amazing. Oh, you too. Any day of the week with any hairstyle. I specifically specifically love when he has his messy hair in the morning. <laughs> He looks like he's like. I feel like I get away with more, you know. I mean, because it's kind of like, like he just he literally looks very young, and it's yeah. just he just looks cute, you know. <laughs> he's like very cute when he has messy hair. So. So what do you think about me shaving off the middle and leaving the sides? <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> um, okay. But yeah. So and then I'm gonna get my nails, guys. I haven't gotten my nails done in so long. So I'm pretty excited. I hope they do good nails. It's so hard to find a good nail tech, I'm telling you. Um, but also, I'm, I just don't really like to go do my nails. I just have like a, a horror story from a nail salon. So I just don't, I usually do my own stick on nails, but I have a lot of things coming up in the next few weeks. So I decided to just do it. Also, I got some things from Amazon. I got fake cigarettes because smoking is bad for you. Um, we're going to be for Halloween this week, uh, next weekend, yeah, next. um, Peaky Blinders. So we're going to dress up as Peaky Blinders. If you guys have seen that show, if not, then yeah, if not, you still you have should. a chance. Yeah. If not, you should. It's so good. Yeah. So any, anyway, I got some fake cigarettes because they're always smoking and I was going to dress up more girly, but I, I guess I'm just sticking to like my more manly outfits recently. So I'm gonna dress up as uh, like, you know, Tom from the show, Tommy and um, and then the gang members. So we're basically. both gonna be the same character? We're no, I Tommy. mean, we're just gonna be like, I'll be the aunt, you okay, know, the I'll aunt be. kind of dresses. So I got the, I got the Muse Boy hats and they're so yeah, cute. Cool. So I got this black one for Till. I probably look so funny with it. And um, I got this one for me because I got like a full, like a cute little two piece suit set for myself. I'm gonna be like cute, sexy kind of vibe, but with like the little Muse Boy hat on. Is there a razor blade in there too or no? No razor blades here. All right, here. we're gonna add them. Yeah. So we can wipe some faces. But mine's like more gray, like with a pattern on it. That's mine. So that's gonna be fun. I just wanted to show you guys. I'll show you guys the full Halloween outfit on a vlog probably. But um, I also wanna walk you guys around Alpharetta. Maybe Till and I will get a coffee there or something. But even the place where we go do our, where we're gonna be doing, Till's gonna be doing this hair, I'm, I'm gonna be doing my nails. Um, it's really cute around there. Yeah. And one time they had like goat yoga where they had that like so fun. yoga class with animals, with, with like goats. goats, like baby goats hopping on people and stuff. It was what? the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, and I love animals, so I would love to do that. But anyway, it's really cute. I really love Alpharetta. It's kind of like my dream place to live in if I were to stay in Georgia. Like the rest of my life with my kids but That's also look at Georgia in the fall look at the trees isn't that so nice oh, yeah. and we're not even in Dahlonega which is like the mountainous region of Atlanta um, 
that's where Till and I met in college. But anyway, I'm just blabbering on. I'm gonna let you guys go and I will update you on the nails. I'm really excited about it. I think just to, to make sure we're on okay, the same so page. Okay, so Till got his haircut. He looks great and it's not even. Like, I mean, there's um, probably parts that we. He's on the phone with his business partner, but it's uh, not even part, styled with gel or anything, but his sides look really good. Correct. His sides look really good. And then these are my nails. Can you guys see yes. it? So it's OPI yeah. with a mirror chrome. And they're so pretty. Even without the chrome, I was even thinking of doing no chrome, but they literally look so pretty. Okay, so we got coffees and we're in the car because we're actually <laughs> going to do some sales today. Um, my husband is starting a business and we feel that because he has an accent, I feel like people don't trust him as much, which is like, I would feel the same, I think, yeah, especially because bit, to be honest. Uh, what he's, um, his product, it requires like a really good understanding of the English language. Yeah, you know? basically elite it's English, right? Elite English. And he does like when we were in college, he would always, him and his foreign friends they had way better english grades and like writing like whenever they did a project they were way above everyone else because obviously school is harder in europe and and obviously he has the skills but his accent i think throws some people off yeah i think it's so, just it's an unnecessary distraction i suggested i can help I them to do like setter calls like this the first call with mm -hmm. the customers when I have time because I work Monday through Friday full time and so well, we're gonna try it out. It's gonna be the first time today mm -hmm. but we just practiced a little bit this morning and I can tell you she's a talent. <laughs> no I think we'll see. I, think, I, don't know. I think it just takes a little bit of certainty if somebody speaking to you is not um, obviously not sounding like they are native speaker because people can still tell that I'm not a native speaker of course so it just takes away a little bit of certainty even if it's not consciously happening at least subconsciously it has some kind of effect so I definitely think that you talking to them first of all your voice is nice second of all the content of what you say is nice and I think you'll be able to just give more here, certainty. Though. Yeah, it is hot. Really hot, actually. So, Should we yeah. open the door? Uh, I mean, yeah. We can. We can right? actually open both a little. Huh? Yeah. Um, okay, so I need to connect to my laptop. Oh, yeah. shit. Can I airdrop? What do you want to do? I can help you. I just need to sign into internet so I can get, get the new version of mine. Yeah. Sign into my internet. Um, or oh, sign into yours. Did you ever give yourself a. I did. Uh, can you turn on my hotspot? I'm not a major tech person. You don't need to. Today, you only need to be a major <laughs> communicator. I'm a little nervous, but we're I understand gonna practice, that. right? Yeah. It's good to be a little bit nervous, to be on your tippy toes, but in the end, you have a script, so there's nothing that can go wrong. You yeah. always have the script to come back to. Yeah. There's nothing that can go wrong. Right? If the person is not qualified, they are not qualified. Mm -hmm. Then you have your goal achieved. Your goal is not to find out um, how to make it sound like this person is qualified. Your yeah. only goal is to find out if they are. Yeah. So. That's true. I don't know if... I did show you the, my nails before, but I don't know if you could see them. I think they're nice. They're like um, oh, it's a nude on. chrome. Well, I'll tell you guys how the call goes. Talk to you <laughs> later. <laughs> okay, so the person didn't pick up. Happens a lot, doesn't it? It does, actually. I think in the US, like, show up rates are slightly above 50%. Which, Ooh. that's pretty shit. If you in compare Germany? it with Germany, I think just our cult, like our culture itself, we're a little bit more responsible. Like, values like being on time, showing up, are just, like, more important to us. I think that's just a really straight but true statement yeah Here in the US I feel like a lot of people even if they pick up and they don't have time but they schedule the appointment they take it for granted to just be like I don't have time right now they don't even apologize which that's just 
super odd to me coming from there. I think it's definitely a huge cultural thing that Till has had to learn. Yeah. Um, but we're here in Alpharetta still. We're gonna meet up my parents to eat. So we decided to stop by Queen and Hearts, Queen of Hearts Antiques and Interiors. And I'll try to film and show you guys what we find if we find anything. Um, sure you do. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Certainly, I always find something. Right. Yeah, but I think they might have some really cute things. Excited. Okay, so I'm just, oh, these are kind of cute if you would get them re-upholstered. I think that would be super cute. French chateau cottage vibes. Um, it was a cute vintage store, one of my favorites that I've been to personally. Even I liked it. Yeah, even Till liked it, it's a big deal. So I got, so they sell this on Amazon, I've always wanted to try it, it's the Glamorous Wash. And I hear it smells really good, so I just got like a little one to see how it is. And it, I think it's going to smell really nice, so it's cute and tiny, little laundry detergent. It smells good from the outside. Yeah, it does. Um, and I've had like a YouTuber suggest it before, and I always wanted to try it, so. Then we got a new dough bowl. It's real wood, so we can actually put um, fruits. fruits and stuff on it. I can see that it does have a slight sealer on it, so that's good. I'm gonna just wipe it off when I get home and wash it a little. Um, but I think it's cute. Yeah, I like the color. I like it too. So, that's that. And that's pretty much all we got today at the vintage store. Now we're gonna, we're waiting for my can you turn on the car because it's so hot. It is, huh? Can you turn it on? Yeah, I was just gonna say. Um, now we're waiting for my parents to get home from the Korean spa and we're just gonna like find a place we can go to the Avalon they have a bathroom there. hungry and we're very hungry so we're kind of waiting for them to finish yeah. but yeah I kind of like it just because I get to spend more time with Till and I have a reason to <laughs> that was surprising huh? um so I have a reason to hang out with him because he's always wanting wanting to run away from me and work. <laughs> hey, that's not true. I'm not I running know, but away. He's from just me. like working a lot, and I'm like I always want to hang out with them and do something fun. So I'm enjoying it very very much. So that's why I told my parents to like take your time. I know, I know. Um, Beforehand, but, you were like, hmm, I think you want to go home soon, right? I was like, well, yeah, this is the stuff I need to do, and now you were like. Hey, no, take your time. It's all good. Like, it's family, you know? <laughs> it's we so can funny. go to, but you know I, what I'm all good has a with... bathroom? We can go to Home Goods and we can find pillows for our sofa. Yeah, so smart with trying to sell me on going to another store with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just because she knows that I have to pee. I have to pee too, though. Sure, now you have to pee too. I'm serious, I actually really I think Home Goods is I also the only... I told you when we were walking I, that I have to pee. I think they're the only public place that has restrooms. I think the Dunkin' Donuts over there doesn't. Well, do yeah. whatever you want. I'm kidding, let's go to Home Goods. Okay. You're a great go. salesperson, so I like that. Thanks. We're gonna go to Home Goods now. Okay. 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 And I'll show you guys if we find anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, see you later, alligators. <laughs> Okay, now we're just waiting for my parents and my sisters. Um, we're gonna go eat at the Thai place because we found a Chinese place, but it had lower ratings, and we we're like, mm, don't know if I trust that yeah, for my stomach. Yeah, they said stuff about like, oh, there was so, like, like metal, plastic and metal, metal in my food. In my food. And like, whenever I, I read know, stuff like that, I'm like, eh, I don't want to get shards of metal in my stomach. Yeah, not today at least. <laughs> but um. Yeah, so we decided to go to the Thai place. It looks pretty good from the outside, so we'll see. This is Till's haircut. Let's get a, let's get a cut. Well, I only cleaned up really, like. He wanted to keep his hair um, on the top pretty yeah, long. Yeah, I was thinking about cutting everything off like a bus cut, but then I was like, summer is over. Maybe I'm just keeping it for, the end of the year and then the only thing in your outfit that changed for this fall weather are your pants you got long pants sure. i really like these jeans they look really good on you. Thank, you thank you but you always look handsome the older ladies in the vintage store they always want to talk to till it's so funny 
I think everyone has a crush on me. No, I literally feel like um, I notice like ladies always looking at Till, like older ladies. I'm good that guys are not looking at them. You've had guys flirt with you though. Yeah, that's not, and you're that's like, not I'm married. <laughs> I mean, can happen, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I take it as a compliment, I guess. You should. Yep. But I mean, you're European, you dress a little bit better, you know? Not, not common in America. I mean, I think it depends on where you are in the US. I think, especially in the South, though, people. I dress more, they just uh, dress a little bit more like comfy and I think for example the East Coast, um, uh, West Coast too, I think there's definitely cities that are dressing more European style if you want. Yeah, I mean or just like dressing better. Yeah, yeah or like I let's say you are in bigger cities even though I'm not a fan but if you are in New York definitely my style would not be like out of the norm. Yeah, yeah, You know, I see what you're saying. I mean, I think even like Midwest people yeah. dress nice. Um, West it's Coast not about nice is more or not relaxed. Nice. It's just different. I'm not saying I dress nice and Southern people don't. I don't think so. I just think Southern people like more like a Southern look. Yeah. And Southern look is very different from European look. Yeah. A European yeah. look is more like on the coast. I think it's also depending culturally, yeah. like depending on what culture and someone's weather. in. I mean, you guys obviously can wear like just wear shorts and tank tops here mm. because it's just like hot. super hot all yeah, the time. Humid. If I would do that in Germany, I, I'd be sick all year long, you know? Yeah, <laughs> so that's true. You can really only do that for a few weeks in Germany, but... That's why I really like winter clothes now because of you Germany. change up your style. Yeah, I feel like you can like do so much with winter clothes and back in the day I would just look at it as like covering up and then I wouldn't really need to wear them, but now I love wearing yeah. winter clothes. I wow. feel like the more layers you can wear, the, the more options you have to obviously style. So yeah. cooler weather gives you the option to just style more like to just do more yeah. because obviously if it's super warm you I don't know you want to basically wear the least possible yeah yeah, yeah so. well we're so hungry <laughs> yeah I was just gonna say I feel like my energy level is pretty low because I'm just so hungry right? you were like yeah I was like well can we eat <laughs> yeah we're waiting now so I'm gonna let you guys go I'll show you the food and now we went to Cold awesome Stone really and we Ooh. all got ice cream. I tried to put in the rating. Except but Till. Also great. That's why he's the fittest of us all. <laughs> no, yeah, he I, I, just, ice cream. I just eat it, uh, you he know, secretly. Eat. Not, uh, not uh, like showing it to the camera, but I eat more ice cream than everybody. That's true. Eat. He usually <laughs> has one little thing of ice cream every night. Okay, so good morning, guys. We are headed off to church. It's Sunday today. Um, and it's sunny. And it's sunny, we're running. Hey, bro. Yeah, what is this guy doing? Turning. We're running a little late, and. But it's okay. I mean, you can show up when you want to show up at my church, basically. Typically, I like to be there before, it's like a specific prayer. Um, but next time we'll do better. <laughs> um, I think we were like chilling in bed for too long. We've arrived to 26. It's like a Thai restaurant. We're doing Thai yet again. Because Till didn't want Italian. I'm just not for all carbs. I need some protein, you know? I kind of love Italian food. I feel like one it, day we should just go. Yeah, I mean, it is good. I'm because not I kind of like it. But... I don't know. We're the only ones sitting out. It's really sunny. And I'll show you, I'll try to remember to show you guys the food this time. So here's chicken satay. You can't see because of the light. Can you bring it in the light? Yeah, perfect. It smells really good. Bon appetit. Thank you. I got the sama chicken with rice and Till got like a pineapple pineapple boat filled with meat. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. So ready to dig in, right? So ready. <laughs> Super messy here because we came back from Costco and just like groceries and stuff. Um, 
but I'm like super tired. <laughs> Like, uh, after we had, something. after we ate, I was like extremely tired, but I got some, they had these $1 wine, um, bags at Target. So I got a few, you know, it's just nice to have for the holidays. If you need to give a gift to somebody, I also got some Christmas bags just in case I make, do you want to smoke or not? <laughs> I got oh, it's fake. A as a chain smoke, I know. No, I got no. fake cigarettes for Halloween. I already told them, I think, yesterday. Oh. Or in the car the other day. Yeah, you might have. Yeah, we did. Here, put it away. Okay. I'm going to smoke it on that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, and then I got these bags because I'm probably going to give my bosses, like my manager and the people I work under, two people, bread. So when I give them bread, I can give them the bag for Christmas. We got shower curtains, like a ton from Target because I don't know what it is. Like I, we love our apartment and everything, um, but the water here, like, I don't know what it is, but like the, our shower curtain, even though we wash our bathroom frequently, like the tub, it will mold so fast so we literally go through shower curtains and we even get like we get the anti-mold anti-mildew ones and they don't work like the water here even if we leave it in our like coffee machine like the water itself i think just the quality of water here is just not good which is a little concerning but what can you do i also got gift tags for a wine bottle because i want to give um I'm going to a Halloween party next weekend and I wanna give the girl who's hosting the party like flowers and a drink, probably. Got some stockings from Target. And actually I got some ballerina shoes, so hear me out. I got simple black ballerina shoes from Target because it, I think it's cute for work and these are coming back in style, like very French Parisian simple kind of style so i kind of like that that look right now um it's trending like the ballerina flats and i just want to start you know changing up my shoe wear for work i typically just wear my white sneakers which are getting a little old I'm not gonna lie Hi. yeah um we meal prepped so we got a ton of this protein pasta you can find it at publix Pretty good. Yeah, it is. Um, good macros and tastes actually really good. Yeah, we typically get a ton. You can put them up there, lined up. I think today I will even buy. It was one. buy one get one yeah. free, right? Yeah. So that was even nice. better for people like us, like who always buy bulk. And I also got sunglasses. His are really cool. You can't really see in the plastic, but right, I can show it off. Yeah, show them. I think they look really nice. And then... I probably show them off. <laughs> <laughs> Why are these so long? These packages? Yeah, right? Like for what were those made? Not for sunglasses. <laughs> um, I got these ones. I like... I have so many black sunglasses, but... I really like the shape of these ones. Here. I'll show you guys. I just really like the shape of yeah, these. I like those so... I really like like sturdy black sunglasses, so I got these. You can never have enough styles, right? This is what I got. Yours are so cool. I, like I love them. yours. I'm really happy with the purchase. Mm -hmm. Those are our sunglasses so we can look cool. Here, I already take my... I'm just gonna wear them inside and pretend that they're reading glasses. Oh, really? Yeah. So I look cooler. You look pretty darn cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, I could just like pass out on the couch right now and take a fat nap. I really like them actually, yeah. I'm happy about the purchase. They're very nice. They look really expensive. Like much more expensive than mine. I make them look expensive. Or that, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> So for meat, we get this ground bison. Has 
90% lean, 10% fat. That's really good lean to fat percentage. No, they taste amazing. They taste and really they have good. Bombastic macros. Bombastic macros. I'm telling you. According to Till. And then we ground bison is also tastes much better than the usual ground beef. Oh, this has a lot of blood on it, but mm -hmm. this is the steak we got. We also got steak. It's New we York do strip, right? New York strip. We got. We do steak with rice for one of our meals with some veggies usually. And like broccoli and carrots. And then we also do. Paprika. Um, bison with pasta. Like basically what you would use like ground um, beef with with a pasta. We do it for. Uh, fine. So we do instead of like a ground beef with pasta, we do ground bison with pasta and it tastes amazing. And then you can just do whatever sauce you want for that. Yeah, I prefer green put pesto. The carrots in there. Green pesto. We got carrots and the frozen blueberries. Need to be put away. I got lemons that we can use. This bowl also makes it because it's a little smaller. It makes everything look like we have so much more. So many lemons. So many lemons. So many lemons. Wow. Cute. Oops. So now we got the lemons. So I got mushrooms for myself. I got broccoli. To roast, and I'm gonna roast broccoli with the carrots and make like a rice veggie bowl, probably. Also, got these like just like I sleep with underwear at night, TMI, but I like to wear like briefs, like brief style underwear when I sleep. So I this found these at Costco and I got a sports bra. I just needed like a simple bra with a sports bra, so I got those. We got a huge pack of gum. Because my husband over there just goes through these like crazy. I got some Puma socks. If you guys want to watch a good documentary on Amazon, watch the feud between Adidas and the Puma brothers. It's a good documentary. It's not even a documentary. No, I mean it's like a... Regarding it's like a dramatized... But based on a true story. Yeah. It's really good. Between the brothers. Yeah. The Kirkland wet wipes. Because you gotta finally, I can clean my booty. Because you gotta keep that area clean. So, <laughs> got those. I also bought some just for me to have in my bag, so I got these off Amazon. They're a little bit smaller. And how about me wearing your glasses? They look cool, isn't they? That looks like men in black when they were hunting aliens. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that movie. No, it's actually, I, I don't like it that much. Okay, put that away. Okay, so I think that was it, guys. That's it for the haul. Um, and we got that whole milk, but I am so tired. So I think I'm just gonna rest and take a shower and clean this up and put everything away because tomorrow is Monday, so it's gonna be another work week. Um, but yeah, that's that. I don't know, is this how I should close out the weekend vlog? I mean, it is the end of the weekend. You can close it out when we are sitting later on the couch and we are snuggling and I'm just having a good time. Okay, that's all I'll close what it do you think? Sounds good. Yeah. I might make I mean, myself that's how a we hot are closing chocolate. Out our Sunday. That's true. I love you. I love you too. Oh, I'm so tired. From all the shopping. Oh, we live in such a 
terrible and hard world. Go on. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying I have a headache. Headache. Which is true. Hey. Okay.